have a sociology degree, and as probably everyone would agree that the um, economic situation is kind of rough, and I mm -hmm. wanted to go in a different direction. I always loved cooking and, and pursued it, mm -hmm. and so very glad I did. Good evening, and again, welcome to Captions. So glad you chose us. Tonight we have a special program. We're going to be talking with some individuals from one of our esteemed social service agencies, Southside Mission. As you can see, I have three special guests that have joined me, and we're going to be talking about the programs and a very special program, their culinary arts school. Welcome to Captions. Thank you. Good to be here. I have sitting to my left, Meg Newell, to her left, Chef Chris Franzini, as well as to his left, Chef Doris Figures. Welcome to Captions. Thank you. Chris, let me start with you. Well, first let me start with you, Peg. Let's, let's Meg, let's talk about Southside Mission. What is the mission of the Southside Mission? The mission of Southside Mission is to preach the good news of Jesus Christ to the poor okay. and in his name to love, house, feed, clothe, and teach all those people he sends to us. Okay. And so we carry that out in about 50 different programs, including our culinary arts training school on down to preschool and daycare. Well, I know that uh, Southside Mission has had a major impact on our community, individuals, and families for years. What are the various kinds of services that uh, you provide here for people to uh, benefit from? Well, we're trying to address the root causes of poverty okay. and then and, and help people get out of the cycle. Mm -hmm. So whether it is in our elderly services program where we have registered nurse that visits the seniors on the south side of Peoria to mm -hmm. make sure that they are taking their medicines as they should, that they're not being scammed or taken advantage of, mm -hmm. to affect some family reconciliation where possible. Mm -hmm. Then our hope builders and our external ministries goes out into the community, and does home repairs free of charge, mm -hmm. which includes you know replacing roofs or putting a ramp in, painting in the outside, because we know that the key to a strong community is home ownership. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we're keeping our homeowners in place. Fantastic. So that's always just a huge, huge blessing, and we do that about over the summer, and it seems that we pick the hottest week of the year to do the most projects, mm -hmm. but um, it is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, we are blessed to be invited into every school on the south side of Peoria in a before-school fashion mm -hmm. where we help those kids start their day in a positive way. You know, we mm -hmm. um, pop tarts and prayer. We're all about it. So mm -hmm. we want to just make sure that we're being a light on the south side of Peoria. Then our youth programs focus on tutoring, especially math and reading, Okay. Um, family mentoring programs, a college club that is really introducing the possibility of college to the kids that we're serving. Mm -hmm. Very often in the homes that we serve, um, college is not really a possibility that's talked about a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we're doing college visits and campus visits and making sure they're taking their ACT and ACT, ACT and SAT, and all in the rest of the alphabet as well, mm -hmm. and uh, applying for financial aid because most of the folks that we serve could go to college for free okay. if only filling out the application mm -hmm. correctly. Okay. Um, <coughs> then and we have affordable daycare and preschool. Um, our preschool is offered for free to mm -hmm. any child in the south side of Peoria. We define our service area as a zip code of 61605. All right. So free preschool is a blessing for the folks um, that we serve and kindergarten as well. We mm -hmm. want to make sure that our kids get off to a good start. Mm -hmm. um, we want them to enter the public school system reading ready, if not reading already. Most of our kindergartners are reading well before they leave. Right. So all of our teachers are licensed, degreed, and certified, and we are licensed by the DCFS. Well, I know uh, during my years at City Hall <coughs> working in the area of human services, your agency was one of those that I looked at as being a lighthouse in terms of 61605, of which I was a councilman 
of that area also. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have, in a sense, been a beacon light for many individuals and families to find their way to you and then find their way throughout some of the difficulties of life. Where is your headquarters located? At 1127 South Laramie Street. We okay. are as far south as you can be and still mm -hmm. be in Peoria. Okay. And um, we, we do strive to be a lighthouse and we are grateful for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Scripture tells us that we should be salt and light in the community that mm -hmm. we are s serving and place our light on a hill. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that everyone in our community knows that the Southside Mission is here to help. Okay. And then you also have some outlets as far as where people can go and pick we up do. clothing and those kinds of things too, right? It's interesting. We have about eight locations. Wow. All together, uh -huh. yes. Um, we have four Mission Mart stores that are located throughout Peoria and um, Tasman County, mm -hmm. on Knoxville, on Sterling, in East Peoria, on Fon in Fond du Lac Plaza, and in Morton at the Field okay. Shopping Center. Great. We have um, uh, our Benevolent Center where you can get free groceries, appliances if you need it, clothing, coats, mm -hmm. whatever you happen to need. And that's yes. on Garden Street. Mm -hmm. And then we have satellite sites throughout the south side of Peoria. Um, there is one in River West. There's one in Harrison Homes. And our newest satellite site is we're partnering with Sovereign Grace. Mm -hmm. And we're at a former community center that mm -hmm. has been rehabbed. Okay. Well, that is, that is great and quite extensive. Uh, Chef Chris, how long have you been associated with the Southside Mission? I've been here about eight years. How many? Eight. Eight, eight, eight years. years. That's that's quite a long period of time. Yeah, it's it's been a it's been a wonderful ride mm -hmm. to see the growth of the the mission. And what is your primary responsibility? Well, I'm in charge of all the food um, okay. outlets here. Uh huh. Um, we feed the ladies in the shelter. Mm hmm. Um, youth department, but also I'm in charge of all aspects of the uh, culinary school. Culinary school. Mm -hmm. Do you have a school that's yep, located we, here? We have a school here. We do three 12-week courses a year. Uh huh. Um, they go Monday through Friday, 8:30 to to two. Uh huh. And um, it's been a really good program. We're in our fifth year. And this school is open to anyone oh, who wants to, to apply yep. and whatever. What anyone can apply, but um, it, we look for people who um, have have. Um, special, not special needs, but different right. needs that uh -huh. maybe they are under undereducated, unemployed. Maybe they've never learned a skill, mm -hmm. have trouble keeping a job down. Right. And those are our primary focus. Okay. Well, that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware that they had the culinary school, but back when I was involved, that was longer than eight years ago, and they probably <laughs> didn't have it. At that no, time. they didn't have it then. Um, and it's neat because the students, whatever we, um, whatever they work on, they apply mm -hmm. themselves in the class. Um, mm -hmm. We serve the lighthouse diner. Okay. which is our soup kitchen that we um, we serve Monday through Friday every day. And from what I understand, sitting to your left is Doris Figures, and she's a graduate of uh, your school? Yes, sir. She's one of our um, shining stars. Well, Doris, can you kind of share with me and our viewers something about your background? Are you a Peorian at all? Actually, no. I'm a transplant from Chicago. Well, hey, believe me, Peoria <laughs> is full of transplants from everywhere. Yes. But the main thing is you're here now. Yes. It's not where you begin in life, but where you are in life and where you're going in life, right? That's true. Bloom where you are planted. Okay. <laughs> and how did you happen to uh, get involved with the, the culinary school here? Did you hear about it? And Actually, um, I was introduced to the mission through the Mom's Day Out program. Oh, okay. Um, it's a it's a once a week program. Moms, rather you're a single mom or mm -hmm. a married, mm -hmm. large or small family, we would come together. They would provide child care, Bible study, a meal. Um, that's how I was introduced to the mission in general. And um, it was years later that um, I found out about the school, mm -hmm. and there was a suggestion maybe you should check it out. Mm -hmm. um, I have a sociology degree, and as probably everyone would agree that the um, economic situation is kind of rough and I mm -hmm. wanted to go in a different direction. I always loved cooking and, and pursued it mm -hmm. and so very glad I did. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing now? I'm the complimentary breakfast chef at the Embassy Suites. The Embassy in Suites there in East Peoria. Yes. They're a great big tall fabulous <laughs> new hotel. It is. It's well, that, wonderful. Well. I uh, I passed by there earlier this morning, getting ready to do the caption show. And uh, um, in fact, not only did I pass by there, I must pass by at least 22 restaurants between my 
-hmm. house in here. <coughs> so in terms of chefs and restaurants and cooking, that seems to be, uh, Chris, a pretty good place to be working. I know mm -hmm. in looking at the yellow pages, I don't know this as a fact, but I would think we probably have more restaurants mm -hmm. and places for mm -hmm. people to be a chef or a cook than probably any other industry I could think of other than maybe we have service stations to mm -hmm. buy gas or yeah. whatever. But, mm -hmm. I mean, there's not a shortage, in my opinion, of opportunities mm -hmm. to eat out as well as have an employment opportunity mm -hmm. in terms of cooking. Yes. Well, that is, that is great. And so... Um, you are now a, a chef at Embassy Suites. Yes. And how long have you been there? I've been there about a year and a half now. About a year and a half. Well, that is fantastic. Well, I'm certainly hoping that uh, some of our viewers tonight, first of all, may be finding out, just like I am, that mm -hmm. Southside Mission offers such a school. Yeah. Yes. Normally, when we think of school, Southside Mission isn't one that normally comes to yeah. mind. We think of an ICC or a Mid-State or mm -hmm. those kinds of places. But obviously um, there is an educational mm -hmm. opportunity here as well as all the other services that you really provide to assist people. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, am, I am so glad that uh, you are a graduate from here. Mm -hmm. Thank um, you. You had to leave that little <coughs> old small place called Chicago <laughs> to come down <laughs> here to find your place. and. Uh, one of the th advantages of being a chef is that you can normally transfer that mm -hmm. anywhere, anywhere and everywhere. Yes. From here to Las Vegas, to New York, to D.C., to wherever you want to go. So this May I add something about yes. the uh, culinary arts schools here? Uh -huh. um, now that I've gotten out into my career path, mm -hmm. um, I feel like the education I received here rivals any other school in this area. I mean, um, the level of commitment and support um, and, and teaching that I received here is mm -hmm. excellent. And I like the holistic approach mm -hmm. we had. We were obviously in the kitchen cooking. Um, we had um, situations where we would be able to not only cook for the lighthouse, but uh, the Lighthouse Diner, but when groups come to the mission, we had special opportunities to serve mm -hmm. and hone our skills. And in addition to that, Bible study, um, um, going through um, job skills programs where it kept us accountable for our personal growth, I feel like we were offered more here maybe than in other uh, schools in the area. Right. What is the Lighthouse Diner? Would one of the three of you like to expand on that? Because there's probably some people who may not even be aware of what it is or what yeah. it has to offer. Well, I, I will I'll say something. Okay, that Chris. She can fill in the gaps. Women can always add to <laughs> something. Well, it's it's, basically, forget, it's right? basically our soup kitchen. Okay. But um, when we started it, they wanted to um, have a little more of a... Uh, a nicer feel to it. Yes. Where they can come in and be served and... Uh -huh. and and be taken care of. So we, you know, I think I don't know, Meg came up with the name of Lighthouse Diner, but it's basically mm -hmm. our soup kitchen that the food is prepared by our culinary school. Okay. So they, some of the best food in town, you can come in and anybody can come on down if you're curious about the school mm -hmm. or the diner is a good mm -hmm. way to come down and see what these guys are doing. Okay. And it's uh, Monday through Friday, um, mm -hmm. doors open at 1145. And is the uh, Lighthouse Diner primarily for the residents that are here at Southside Mission, or yes. is it open to the public where people can come by and, and buy something to eat or get something to eat? How does it operate? It is free of charge free to of anyone charge. who likes to come. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one of the basic principles that we embrace here at the Mission is everyone deserves the best. All right. And we have, we have an excellent chef that mm -hmm. teaches our students to be excellent chefs. Mm -hmm. Every day they need to cook and hone their skills. Right. What they cook is served to the patrons of our Lighthouse <clears throat> Diner. Mm -hmm. We believe that if you treat people with dignity, that they respond, mm -hmm. especially poor people. Mm -hmm. There is no reason in the world that the poor should not have good food. 